Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's clip, I'll be doing an unboxing and taking a closer look at the new Chasing Dory underwater drone from our friends over at Chasing Innovation. Now, I've been using this product for the last couple of weeks, and I'm having so much fun with it because essentially what you get is this beautiful miniature submarine that you can throw into a lake or a bay or maybe the ocean near you, swim it down to a depth of up to 15 meters, and explore that underwater landscape for up to an hour on a full charge. It's incredibly cool. And it's got a camera on the front of it that'll record high resolution video and take some great pictures so you can capture all your adventures underwater. Now you might be thinking, gee Rick, isn't it dark down there? They thought of that. So on the front of the unit, there are two high powered LEDs that act like sort of headlights that'll light up that underwater landscape and allow you to capture all that beautiful footage. Now, one thing I will tell you that it's small and it's quiet. So when it's down there, the fish don't really look at it as a predator. They kind of are curious about it and they'll swim right up to it. So you'll get some great photos and video down there. Now, Chasing Innovation has done a wonderful job in shrinking down some of the technology that's found in their more expensive and larger drones into this Chasing Dory. They've actually taken a lot of that technology and incorporated it into the design of the product. So don't let the size fool you because it's an incredibly sophisticated product. In addition to the fact that it'll swim for an hour in a full charge, it has depth lock, which means once you get down to say 10 meters under the surface, you can lock it at that depth, just hit the back thrusters and it'll cruise along nice and level. It also has the ability to tilt down 45 degrees or up 45 degrees. Now that's something you don't find even in the larger underwater drones that are made from some of the other companies. So they're one of the first ones to do that. It also has five thrusters. So there are two thrusters in the back for propulsion, and there are three thrusters in the top that allow it to elevate and sink in the water, as well as twist in the water like this. So imagine swimming this thing along, twisting down to get a good look at that coral or that reef or the fish below you. It's just an incredibly cool product. Now, Chasing Innovation is a company that's been in this business of underwater drones for quite some time. I met them a couple of years ago at CES when they came out with their Gladius product. They've since released two other generations of products. The Gladius Mini came out, the Chasing Dory product came out. Rumor has it they've got something coming at CES this year as well. Well, so we'll have to keep our fingers crossed there. But for me, this is the perfect consumer underwater drone because number one, it's small. Number two, it's not that expensive. It's reasonably priced. Believe it or not, this whole setup is probably less than $500 at retail. So it's not cheap, but it's not insanely expensive where you're going to use it three times a year and go, gee, was that worth the money? For 500 bucks, you're going to have a whole lot of fun with this thing. Let me promise you that. So what I'd like to do with the clip is a brief unboxing just to show you everything that comes with the kit. Then I'll take a few minutes and take a closer look at all the components and explain what they do and how they connect. Then I'll come back with some final thoughts. Now, stay tuned to the channel because I have a trip to Florida planned over the Christmas holiday. I'll be swimming this thing like crazy down there in those crystal blue waters of Florida, capturing some great footage. I also want to do a little more in-depth discussion of how to use it, how you connect to it and show you some tips and tricks around the product. But let's get started with the unboxing. So I've already opened the box. I've taken everything out. I don't find a lot of magic in showing you all the styrofoam and stuff. So it comes in a really nice box. Trust me on that one. Inside the box are all the components you see in front of me. So you have the underwater drone. That's the dory. You get a beacon. This actually floats in the water. So this is what connects to your phone. So it's got a Wi-Fi beacon in there that connects to your phone. And there's an umbilical right here that connects to the bottom of this and connects to the drone. So you basically throw the drone in the water, you throw this in the water, and then you're connecting to that with your phone and controlling this underwater drone. You can swim it back to shore. You can also put a tether on that if you want to make sure that if it gets way out in the lake, you can pull it back in. That's perfectly fine. You get a charging unit with all the different charging adapters for worldwide power. So wherever you are in the world to be an adapter that snaps on the front. You get a short little umbilical here that actually connects up and allows you to charge the uh, drone. You get a really nice lanyard that connects between this and that. So that's the tether that connects the electronics in here to the electronics in the drone. And again, this is buoyancy neutral, so it doesn't sink, it doesn't float, it stays right at that perfect level. It also doesn't uh, catch itself. It doesn't get caught up on itself. So it's one of those that if you throw it in the water, it'll immediately float out and there won't be any kinks to worry about or knots in it. And the last thing they include is this, which I think is brilliant. This is sort of a little hook that will help you clean out the impellers. Because if you get it down near the bottom and there's seaweed or you're picking up something down there in vegetation, this allows you to get inside the motors and clean all that stuff out. One other really nice thing they include is this case. Now this is something you don't see a lot of companies doing, but the fact that Chasing Innovation built a custom case to hold the dory is just beautiful because if you're gonna slide that into a backpack, you may not want to throw it in there like it is because you get fuzz in the impellers and you might get nicked and ding. So this little case fits it perfectly. You sit it inside this case, throw it in your backpack and you're off and running. And that's one of the things that I love about this particular underwater drone is the fact that there's not a lot of decision. So if I decide to go out to the lake, I can throw all this in my backpack, put it in the back of the car and just have it with me. So if I get there and it's a beautiful day and I think, hey, I wanna go explore the lake, I've got everything I need. A lot of the other underwater drones 
are bigger. And they're good because they're good for deep depths and maybe out in the ocean or someplace where you've got to go really deep. But honestly, most lakes and most bays, 15 meters, about 50 feet is plenty deep. That's, that's deep enough where I can see what I need to see and not have to worry about going deeper. So having a small kit like this that I can throw in my backpack means that I'm going to use it more often than I am with some of the larger underwater drones that the competitors are putting out. So I like it an awful lot. Um, stay tuned next. And what I'm going to do is, as I said, a closer look at all the components, explain how they connect to each other, and point out some key features that separate the Chasing Dory underwater drone from other products in the market. Now we'll take a closer look at all of the components that come as part of the Chasing Dory underwater drone kit. And we'll start with the power supply. This is a universal power supply. It works all over the world. It'll charge at 120 or 240 volts at both 50 and 60 hertz. It outputs 12.8 volts DC at 3 amps, which means it'll take about two hours to charge the drone. It comes with a short connection cable. This end plugs in here. This end plugs into the drone and you can start charging. The unit also has a universal connector on this end, so it works with a lot of different outlets across the world. I live in the US, so I'll use this one. You basically just push it down and twist it, and you'll hear a click, then it's locked into position. If you have to change that, hit that tab right there, and you can unscrew it and put the next one on. Now we'll take a look at the tether that connects the drone to the buoy. The tether is your connection point between the buoy and the drone. Both ends of this are exactly the same, so there's no polarity. You can put either one on either end. You can tighten these up, and there's an O-ring inside there to keep water out. The material this is made of is an extremely durable material, and it's buoyancy neutral, which means you can put it in the water, it's going to float on the surface, it's not going to sink and get snagged on things, and it also is a special type of material that doesn't kink really well, and it doesn't wrap in on itself, so you're not going to have to worry about big knots of this thing in the water. It's very easy to lay out in the water and very easy to pull back when you're done swimming. The buoy is your connection point to the drone when it's swimming underwater. This will float right on the surface of the lake or the bay you're in. Underneath, the tether connects here. And this has a Wi-Fi connection in it, which is how you make connection to the drone from your phone. There's a Wi-Fi address on the top of this. When you first boot it up, you'll find this Wi-Fi point. You'll make a connection to it, start the application, and you can start swimming. All the control for the drone, both swimming, lights, pictures, video, are done through the application over this connection to the Wi-Fi. Now let's take a look at the drone. The unit is completely sealed and watertight. There are no memory cards to change or batteries to swap out. The only connection you'll need to make is right here in the back, and that's where the tether plugs in. Make sure it's firmly seated, and you finger tighten that collar on there to keep water out of the unit. Make sure you do all that before you throw it in the lake. As far as propulsion goes, you've got two thrusters in the back and three thrusters across the top. Now, these thrusters handle horizontal movement. These three thrusters handle ascent and descent in the water. Now, what's unique about this drone, and I think it was an industry first, is Chasing Innovation was one of the first companies to actually add three thrusters in that vertical position. Most other companies that build an underwater drone have two thrusters in the back or on either side for the horizontal movement, and they've got one big thruster in the middle for vertical movement. So it does a good job of ascending and descending, but because we've got three thrusters, what this drone can do is not only be very efficient in the way it comes up and down in the water, but more importantly, I can turn them on at different speeds and have it look up 45 degrees or look down 45 degrees. So how cool is it that you're swimming through the water with this thing looking down at the coral as opposed to being down at eye level with it? Really innovative product. As far as the aerodynamics go, you can see this is a very aerodynamic product. They've got protection in for the motors to keep debris out of there. We've got a really nice cone shape on the front. The water will split very easily and then sweep along the back. They've protected both of the thrusters in the back. They're both recessed on the front. You've got the high resolution camera. Again, there's plenty of protection around that. High resolution camera. You've got two Cree lights on either side, 250 lumens each. And again, at each side, you've got aerodynamic fins to keep it level in the water and the same up top to keep it from squiggling in the water like that. So overall, they've done a fantastic job with this. Another fin on the bottom. They've done a great job with the design of this. And again, from a size perspective, that's my hand on top of it. So it's an incredibly compact unit with just a ton of electronics packed inside of it. I hope that overview was helpful in showing you just how cool a product this Chasing Dory underwater drone really is. I'm blown away by the amount of engineering that went into this tiny little package. When you think about building a drone that's waterproof, that can go underwater to 15 meters, swim around, take high definition video and pictures, 250 lumen lights on the front to light up the underwater landscape, and giving you complete control from your smartphone, it just blows me away that technology's gotten to this point. And those wizards over at Chasing Innovation have taken all the technology they've built into their larger drones and shrunk it down inside of this Chasing Dory. And I've spent a couple of weeks with it now, swimming all over New Jersey, and man, I'm telling you, it's a whole lot of fun. So if you have any questions about anything I've covered today, please drop those in the comments below. I promise you I have a couple more clips coming that talk further about this and the technology behind it. 
I'll have some video examples of taking it out in the lakes and swimming it around. I'll be in Florida in a couple of days. I'll be swimming it down there as well. So stay tuned to the channel and I'll give you a whole lot more details about it. Now, if you want to check out the product further, I've got a link below as well where you can go to their site, check out the specifications and see if it's a product that's right for you. I love it. I'm a big fan of new technology, and if I can get under the water and do a little investigation in the lakes around my home, that's a cool Saturday afternoon. So thanks an awful lot for watching, and until next time, I guess, happy swimming.